In this video, we're going to build an R file and pass it to a Weka classifier. Here's what the target R file will look like with its title and the relationships of the spy with its averages. A couple of attributes and the result attribute is what we're going to be targeting on. And then the data with the uh, current price a moving average fast, moving average slow, and the next day's price, which we call result. And we use that using, uh, we built that using this CSV file we downloaded from Yahoo Finance with the date, open, high, low, close, adjusted close, and volume. What we really want to look at in other types of uh, financials is the close and the adjusted close. The SPY has an adjusted close due to dividend distributions and if we go to the bottom we can see that those two numbers pretty much match. Uh, somehow we get to back to the top of the CSV file and if you do have to do the adjustment on uh, using the adjusted close you'll have to figure out some type of uh, difference uh, between the close the adjusted close and apply it to all four other values. Well, now we come to the meat and potatoes of this uh, video where we're going to write our first Java program. Uh, first we have to make sure that we have the jar files loaded into the development environment. Then we'll show importing the TA lib classes, reading the spy CSV file we got from Yahoo Finance, creating the ARF headers, Parsing the CSV file into a, a double array, let's do it twice, once to an array list and then to an array. We'll call the uh, TA lib simple moving average method twice because we're going to do a fast and a slow moving average. We have to realign the TA lib data bef before we start building the actual ARF data section. So here we are in the Eclipse environment and I put the two libraries we had downloaded previously, the TA lib and the Weka, into a library folder and there is our CSV file. But the, because they're in the library folder doesn't mean they're in the class path. To put them in the class path we have to uh, add them to the reference library so we just go to configure the class path, add the two jars. I already have them here so it might be a little confusing. Go to the lib, select them, press the OK button, they show up here and then we just do an apply and close. Next, we look at the jar file that I wrote to do this. Here's our uh, Java classes imported and our TA Lib classes imported, the core and the integer classes. We're going to build a, a static program. We're not going to really do any much object-oriented programming with this, so that uh, we start off with our uh, a static main. We're going to build our R file using a print writer. And we'll call it spy.arf. Our comments, the relation definition, followed by the four attributes. Again, result here will be the next day's closing price. We opened up. We open up the uh, CSV file with a buffered reader. There it is, what we downloaded from Yahoo, and we skip the first line because it's the header with the date, open, high, low, close. You adjust the close and the volume. And then we need to build an array list of doubles for the adjusted close. That'll eventually become a array double, and we just loop through it until we get to the end of the file. With each line that's read, we will use the uh, string split method to split it up on the commas and add it to our array list. Take the array list, now we're going to build a double array based on the size of the array list and simply move everything into the array. Next, uh, we initiate the TA lib libraries with calling the core method and the two 
integer objects that will be used by the method. We define an output array, in this case we're going to call it SMA fast. We'll call the uh, simple moving average method within core with an offset at zero, starting at zero to the length of the array of minus one. There's our input array dclose. Our period in this case for fast is a five day period the two TA lib objects that were needed, and then our output array where the data, or TA lib will store the data. Then we will go through the output array and move everything, shift everything over by five because TA lib stores things at offset zero, and this will make it easier for us to uh, work with the array when we actually build the output. Again, we're going to do the same thing for the slow moving average, build an ar double array with a 20-day moving average period, shift everything over by that 20 days, and finally we're going to start outputting it just like a CSV, it is a CSV essentially, uh, going starting at offset 25, I could have started at 21 if I wanted to, but, but we go to the offset with the length minus one, we don't use the whole, we don't loop through the entire array, we're going to output the close, the uh, simple moving average day fast, and simple moving average day slow, and then the next day's closing price. And this is, uh, if you notice, x plus 1 here for the close, and the length minus 1, that will prevent an array out of bounds exception. And we just simply run it. it. Should run pretty quickly, it does. Refresh, and there's our R file. And let's take a quick look comments at the top, the relation definition, the current price, moving average fast, slow, and the results, and then the data as it exists. So let's fire up the Weka GUI, choose the Explorer application, and let's input our spy.r file. Let's go find it here first, over here in my project. There she is, and then it's loaded, and you can see it has some nice stochastics about each of the uh, individual attributes. Um, and if you wanted to, you could edit the file with their editor. Now let's load the classifier. We hit the classifier tab. Use the uh, default as 0R. If we wanted others, we just hit the choose and let's start it. Runs the classifier and the output is there. And there's our attributes. We did a tenfold cross validation test method. And the things that we'll be looking in the future will be the correlation coefficient and the mean absolute error to determine the best classifier for uh, the process, the initial process that we'll be running. Coming up next, in the next video, we'll be running most of the important uh, Weka classifiers.